I am a debater. I'm a leader. I am a digital artist. I'm a computer technician. A community volunteer. I'm a student minister. I'm a scientist. A journalist. I'm an educator. I am an actress. An attorney. I'm an athlete. I'm a musician. A mathematician. I am a woman for others. I'm a junior now and I started out with Drama Club my freshman year. I knew from that point that this is where I belong. I think it's a lot easier to get up on a stage and be somebody else. Cannot. I will not. You loved me, John Proctor. You know, how often do you get to be a whole new person? I really feel called to athletics because of the competition. And when you can win together and help each other overcome a challenge, there, there's no feeling that you can replicate. Well, growing up, I've always loved to sing, and I just feel so privileged that I get to go to a school that offers me opportunities to get to use my talent to sing in mass, to sing at school events, and that really has taught me to become I'm more social with my singing. I love math because everything has a reason. Everything makes sense. I do uh, tend to think in very logical and structured ways, but I also love the arts and more creative aspects of math. And that shows in a lot of the math classes here at St. Joseph. I've been on the computer a lot, and when I was just very young, I just saw a lot of digital art, and I like that better, a lot better as a medium. At SJ, they let us use Maya, and Maya has been used by Pixar uh, for Toy Story. Using the programs that are used in the professional field will give you the experience and it's really interesting to go look through to see what the process is like. Definitely done a lot of service work through St. Joseph's. Learn to become more grateful for what God has given you and you become aware of your surroundings more. So after serving others, you can also continue that service throughout your whole life. Last year, I really, in chemistry, I noticed that I excelled. I never, I never really had to think about it as much as I saw some other people doing, and it, I just loved it. I understood it. One thing that I do is I can relate a lot of things about chemistry to everyday things, like making my coffee. I relate that to chemistry, and that's a really nerdy thing of me to do, but it's something that I do. I think that um, in student ministry, you are really um, encouraged to reach out to the people in your community or your parish. You're helping others get stronger in their faith, but it also helps you think about how you're living your life. So it's almost a double-sided helping because you're helping them get closer and you're almost reevaluating your life to help you get closer as well. I was fortunate to receive the gift from my parents of an academy education and I did and still do consider it a gift. And so I was always taught when you receive, you should give back. The main organization that I'm involved in on campus is Student Council. And it really humbles me to see all of the different types of people at this school and the types of leaders there are, and that you can be a different type of leader. There's not just one set type. Well, I really like student prints a lot. It's something that I really enjoy doing, and it's great to be able to tell the student body and the faculty and get news to them and to work with other students and help them to also learn about journalism. I like being on the speech and debate team because it's just an opportunity to go out on Saturdays, get dressed up in business formal. Anything in life requires public speaking, so it's just a skill set that you'll eventually have to learn in life. I work in the help desk. This is the first all-girl student-run help desk in the country, and it's one of the only ones in the world that is just exclusively girls. It's something that's really cool. It's not something that I ever saw myself doing or thought that I would have the opportunity to do or I never thought that I was particularly good with technology so just a really cool experience for me. Since I had I love the SJ experience so much that I wanted to come back even if it was for two or three years to help pay back my teachers. When you look at the small classes you look at the girls who are willing to do anything for you um, there's just no other place I wanted to be. I'm in the Louisiana Attorney General's Office and I practice in the field of consumer protection law. When I was here at St. Joseph's Academy, I, it was something that I always thought I might do. And the curriculum and the instructors are so, so dedicated. You never feel like there's something you can't do. And especially as a woman, that's so important to have had that basis where there's no ceiling on what you can do and the sky is the limit. St. Joseph's is not a very clicky place. And once you find that first friend, it's 
very easy to just connect with everyone else. In the past, educators used to impart all the wisdom if we had such thing. Now, we kind of learn together. Science field needs women, and we need to be able to understand science and math. I scored a 36 on my ACT. I was shocked, but so excited and so happy that St. Joseph's has really helped me to um, achieve the score that I did on that test. I learned how to better form relationships with people and to really interact with people and to genuinely be interested in what they're going through. I found more about myself and found what I want to do here. You know, all of my gifts and all of my talents are only mine because God gave them to me just to be able to give back, you know, blessings that are received to me is what it's all about. The city of Baton Rouge supports us, a lot of the leaders do, and still to this day. We could do anything we set our minds to. It's a wonderful place to be. Since 1868, St. Joseph's Academy has educated young women as responsible and unifying members of the world community. Through their experiences, they discover and nurture their gifts, ignite their passions, and even build friendships that last a lifetime. Each becomes a sacred thread in the beautiful tapestry that is SJA. For an Academy graduate, the sky is the limit. The possibilities are limitless. In her family, her church, her profession, and her community, she will always be a woman for others. I will be a chemical engineer. I will always perform. I will be a research scientist. I will sing on Broadway one day. I will travel the world and I will make a difference. I will never quit. I will be the President of the United States. I will be an animator. Voy a ser una embajadora. I will be a doctor. I will always be a communicator. I will help others grow in their faith. I will always be a red sticker. <laughs>